it's an honor for me to be here uh, supporting uh, Fujian. It's, it's been, uh, I think, a couple months since, uh, you know, they, they, he asked me if I wanted to endorse him. I looked at the campaign and I saw that he's, you know, uh, been engaged with the community. And that's what we need is people or young, young uh, people that have been engaged in the community, been active and supporting, you know, uh, anybody across our county. And that's one of my, my uh, goals is to be able to, to help, you know, people around our communities. Because, uh, you know, I don't want just somebody that wants to go into a, a city or a county or any position that, that's just going to be there, you know, for themselves. I always go out and, and, and talk to people and say, you know what, most politicians are in it just for themselves. And I think Fu is really humble, and I like that he cares about our community, our, our citizens fighting for issues uh, at, at council meetings and, and different boards. And that's a person, that's, that's the kind of person that we need. So this morning, I'm also, I'm not just a county board supervisor, but I'm one of the committees that I am on the Central Valley Leadership Roundtable from Patterson, Colinga, I mean, I'm sorry, from uh, Fresno, Colinga, the south side all the way to, uh, to Modesto, we have a, 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 a Central Valley Leadership Roundtable. And, you know, it was our honor, along with our co-chair, Jose Moran, here from Merced, uh, you know, the Merced uh, area, uh, you know, from Lindsay, but, you know, from this committee area, we were honored to uh, endorse him, you know, to that committee. And, you know, this is a, you know, mostly a Hispanic group, but I know that the Fu is, you know, will be an honor. It's not, it's not going to be Hispanic anymore. He's going to be part of us. You know, and I want to call the Merced County Leadership Roundtable, right? So, hey, we'll be honored to, uh, to have Fu, you know, come in with us and, and other uh, citizens as well. It's open to the public. So, you know, we had a meeting this morning at, at Trevino's downtown. So, hey, just an honor. You know, uh, nice young man. And like I said, we just want to be able to support him. And like, like me, I had mentors. They were there this morning. And I want to be, hopefully, a mentor to him and to other young leaders uh, and hopefully supervisors, you know, one day, right? So, hey, you know, I'm not going to be there. So I just want to, you know, this is my 20th year. And I've just been pushing uh, young people, any, anybody else to, you know, women too, we need women in there to be able to have leaders, right? So, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter what color you are, or if you're male or female, we want to be able to provide good leaders. Good leaders is women, females, any color, right? So uh, that's, that's my motto, and like I said, I, I don't agree with everything on, on, you know, I was council member 14 years in Livingston, and now I've been here for six years, always learning, always trying to pass on. You know, I, I don't know if, if anybody knows, but I, I came from Mexico when I was 10 years old, so we have, we're all immigrants, you know, or, or sons of immigrants, and so that's what matters, is that we're in this country to be here for, for the best, to provide, uh, you know, work hard and provide for our families, our parents, you know, care about bringing us over here. So, like I said, the struggles, we all have the same struggles here in the Central Valley. And I want to pass that on, pass that on to uh, the, the youth and our communities, and I tell people, it doesn't matter, you know, where you live, whether it's, it's not just Merced County, I represent Merced County, but if you live in Stanislaus County, Fresno County, Madero County, we're here for everybody. My, the county pays me to be there for the community. Even though, like I said, I, I strive to get along with all my colleagues, it doesn't matter whether it's a council board, mayor, or, or supervisor, we, we gotta work together. This is, you know, we're here in America, we love this country, you know, our, our you know, our, my kids, my wife is, is here, so we gotta try to do what's best for all our community and work together and, you know, we all want peace. I know that there's trouble in the world and, uh, and politics is not easy. Like I said, and, and I know that, that, you know, every council has issues and then I know Fu will be able to be a leader working together with the rest of the council members to do what's best for Merced, you know, for the city of Merced, right? And work to, together with me, with the county, to be able to provide what the best, uh, you know, whatever issue, resolve the issue, whether, you know, he can call me, I can call him, uh, you know, in, in parts of my district or any part of the, any part of the city. Like I said, we all have issues and, you know, provide, you now I'm always striving to make sure that we have uh, uh, translators, whether it's Hmong, Spanish, uh, Portuguese, Punjabi, any language. 
because we have a right. I know that you know some leaders don't like to listen, you know, but like I said, we, that's why we strive to perhaps to make good leaders like who will be, uh, you know, and, and Mer City of Merced. So I'm just uh, honored and to be able to work together with, a, you know, a good leader, a future leader of, uh, of Merced and the Merced County. Thank you very much and thank you for inviting me. Okay? Pleasure to be here.